What's going on guys? In this video, we're talking about pro baseball drills. I'm Coach Matt and you go pro baseball. This is Nick Shaw, former Brewers middle infielder. And I wanted to pick his brain on some of the best drills that he learned when he was playing professional baseball. Nick is the creator of the baseball box. It's a monthly subscription box filled with all kinds of baseball goodies that comes to your doorstep every single month. You can check it out at thebaseballbox.com. I'll leave the link in the description. But I really want to know uh, best, the best baseball drills that you picked up along the way while you were playing professional baseball. What do you got? I'll give you my three favorite drills. All right, the first one was just isolating the hands. So we would, every morning in spring training, 7 a.m., yes, you're out there doing baseball at 7 a.m., you're on your knees and a coach is hitting fungos at you. Now it feels kind of, you feel vulnerable down here when a guy is standing up, full swing in a fungo, but you notice almost immediately how good you see the hops down here. When your eyes sink behind the ball, I learned very quickly that the lower my eyes got without getting in a complete crouch when I'm fielding the ball, the better I read a hop. So this was kind of my favorite drill. I isolated my hands because I had to, being on my knees. And when I'm fielding these ground balls, I'm not just going through the motions, randomly reading a hop or not reading what kind of hop it is at all. I want to recognize the three kinds of hops the short hop, the in-between hop, and the long hop. And notice how my hands should work on the three different hops. Now, if I got something that I thought was gonna be a short hop, that was a one-hand play, and I would push through it. I would push through it, all right? Now, on the in-between hops, that's kinda what you had to learn. You kinda had to see what your hands could do and challenge yourself. You can't move through it. You can't extend the hop with your feet. So the in-between hop, you kinda just had to rely on your hands. Now the long hop. The long hop is the one where you want to be soft with your hand and you can kind of just bring that right into the center of your body. Bring it right into the center of your body. But when you're doing this drill, again, it teaches you to sink your eyes. Realize what kind of hop I'm catching each time. Is it a short hop, an in-between hop, or is it a nice and easy long hop? Okay. So after we squared the coach up for uh, probably 30, 35 ground balls, we rotated to our backhand side. Now this was my weakness. As a left-handed hitter, think about this for a minute. As a left-handed hitter, I didn't see the ball come at me this much, okay? A right-handed hitter, their backhand, if they're a right-handed thrower, they see this every time they take BP, every time they take reps in a game, wherever it may be when you're hitting, you see this, your eyes see this path a lot. As a lefty, I saw this over and over, so my forehand was very good. Now. That's why when I went to the knee drill on my backhand, I really had to focus. The key here is, again, recognizing what kind of hops I'm catching. The short hop, pushing through it, out and through it, not swiping up, pushing out and through the short hop. The long hop or the in-between hop, you gotta see what you can do. Long hop is easy. You just get your weight, get your eyes to my back leg, my hand out in front with my glove, and receive that ball, trying to bring it to your throwing side. Bring it to your throwing side nice and gradually. You don't want to yank that ball to your throwing side because in a game, when your feet are moving through this, the glove naturally is going to get to your right side, to your throwing side. Now the in-between hop is what, again, you have to figure it out, and this is a great time to do it. Can I get aggressive and push out and through it, or do I try to sink with my body and my eyes back and get my glove deeper towards my face? Now you have to figure it out. But this is a great time to isolate your hands, see what they can do, and really figure out the in-between hop, how my hands should work and how they can work. Directly after the knee drill, again, we would spend probably 15 minutes or so on the knee drill. Directly after that, my coach had something called the circle drill. Okay, and by my coach, I mean the infield rover for the Brewers. So he was all of our coaches in the organization, but this was his drill. He called it the circle drill. And what he meant by that is, this one's focusing on the feet. What he meant by that is you really get your feet going more than you normally would, chopping our feet, chopping our feet, working through the baseball and firing. Now, the circle comes from, notice what kind of shape I'm doing with my feet. Chopping, 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 through, throw, and I'm circling back around to where I started from. So, hence the name, the circle drill. But what we're really focusing on is the timing of the baseball. As soon as the ball is hit in this circle drill, you want to get your feet going, get your feet going, get your feet going, and time the ball. There should be no hesitation from when I commit to the baseball 
to when I catch it. It should be smooth, okay? The purpose of this drill is not to chop and then square right behind the baseball and have the weight go to your heels. The purpose is to get your feet going as soon as contact is made. Time, 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 through the baseball, fire and follow, circling back to where we started. Now, if the ball is sit to your right a little bit or your left a little bit, you gotta get to the spot, then we're working our feet and working through. But during the circle drill, we wanna keep our fungos, keep our ground balls kinda directly at us if we can. Now, my third favorite drill that I picked up in pro ball is the forehand backhand drill. I will admit, the first time I tried this drill, I didn't know if I was a fan because I didn't exactly know what we were getting at and it was very unconventional. Now, I'll explain it for you and you'll probably say about the same thing. Now, if balls were hit to my right and it would be a short fungo, ball was hit to my right, I'm getting around it, one hand outside my body and working through. Now, that's a play that a second baseman makes a lot, first base, just about every, inf every infield position makes that play. That one made sense to me. Now the ball to my left in this drill, we're getting around it and we're actually backhanding this ball. This is the part that I wasn't sold on at first, but as soon as I started doing it, being that my backhand is what needed most work, I started to see that it brings your face right behind the glove, right behind the path of the ball and helps you with your footwork moving through a backhand. So he would line up and would hit, he would hit balls to our right. As soon as it's hit, we're getting around it working through it, boom. Again, be as realistic with this drill as you can. If our play is at first, let's really get around the baseball, create angle, cut, and set up to throw. After about 10 reps to my right, we would go to the left, so he would hit a fungo to my left. I'm breaking, getting around it, timing it up, backhanding it, and again, setting up to my target. Now, there's some timing with this play. Again, don't get around it and feel it outside your body. It's ball is hit, tracking the baseball, timing through it, and make the play. Okay, again, this helped my footwork tremendously as well as my hands. So it kind of worked both for me. I had one drill where it worked on my hands, the knee drill. The next drill really focused on our footwork, the circle drill. And then we had the forehand backhand drill, which kind of tied it all together. Those are the three drills I learned in pro baseball. So there you have it, some pro baseball fielding drills for you guys to steal, courtesy of all four of us here today. Nick and I shot a bunch of videos today. I'll link some of the best ones down below. We shot a bunch before in the past, so I'll leave some of those as well down below. Feel free to check those out. Don't forget to subscribe to YouGoProBaseball.com. Check out TheBaseballBox.com, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. If you got any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Thank you so much, guys.